So you're thinking of buying a drum kit for yourself, your kid, or your teenager, and there's a lot of questions that come to mind. Here are the six most frequent questions I get asked about buying a new drum kit. How much money do I have to spend? Being your first drum kit, do not, repeat, do not spend an awful lot of money on the drum kit. And the reason why I say this is because you don't know whether this is going to be a lifelong endeavor or whether the drum kit is going to be gathering dust before you put it up on Gumtree in four months time. So my advice would be spend no less than 200 and no more than 400 to 500. The problem with lower than 200 is not the drums, but actually the hardware. Now the hardware is the thing that holds the drum in place. So when you're playing on it, if it's very cheap, every time you hit the drum, it's going to move slightly and that can be very irritating for the player. So a good kit to go in this price range would be the Millennium Standard Kit that I've shown here. Most of these kits come with symbols and hardware that's the stuff that you can put your symbols on and as well as a seat which sometimes isn't included in other drum kits. 400 to 500 is a lot of money to spend but if you can go that extra mile it's pretty great. One I picked out here is the Pearl Roadshow Fusion. You can get that from just over 400. Of course then I've picked out the Mapex Toronto which is slightly higher just over the 500. Of course you can get these brand name kits for a bit cheaper. That brings me on to the next question that everybody always asks. Should I buy a secondhand drum kit? Online and local ads are a great place to find secondhand drum kits. I do urge you to go for a good brand though, because cheaper kits are not meant to have a long lifespan. They've already got some use in them, so you don't want to buy something that's already got a lot of use that doesn't have a long lifespan. Is there drum kits for kids? They do have drum kits for kids. They're generally called junior kits and they're recommended for children from the age of four to 10. However, I do recommend kind of seeing this drum kit first because every child is different. I know I've taught children of the same age. One of them is really, really, really tiny and then the other one's like a big giant. So you really have to check out every kit is different. Make sure that the drum kit that you get is just generally on par for their size. Do not buy one of these. You see them in toy stores, they're a waste of money. Just remember to stay in the price guide lines I talked about earlier. Will it take up a huge amount of space? The thing is, it's a drum kit. It's gonna take up a bit more space than your usual instrument like a guitar or a keyboard. Uh, there are ways around this. There's a thing called a compact kit, which are sometimes referred to as cocktail kits or traveler kits, and they're just smaller versions of a drum kit, mainly in depth. And if space is a huge issue, you may want to go down the electric route. This then brings me to the most common question I get. Should I buy an acoustic or an electric drum kit? Or what is the difference between between an acoustic and electric drum kit. I think the easiest way to get around this is just simply to make a pro and con list. So the pros for an electric drum kit is you save on space. They're a lot more compact and the noise level is very, very low. It's virtually silent. You do have some play along tracks with an electric drum kit. Now the cons about the electric drum kit is it's just not the same as a, as a normal drum kit. You don't get the same feel. And of course, one of the big letdowns about the electric drum kits is they do run up in bills. They are slightly higher. The pro about a real drum kit is that it's the proper feel. You can do things on an electric drum kit that you can't really do on an acoustic drum kit. However, electric is not a bad route to go down. So is there any way of making an acoustic drum kit a bit more silent? Right, well, there's ways of doing that. What you can do is you can buy mesh heads, which are a certain fabric, it's called mesh. You put that on instead of your skins that are on the drum kit, that virtually makes it silent. Remo have their own brand called Silent Stroke Heads, and you can pop them on the drum kit. The only problem is the added expense to it uh, because you're gonna have to buy them separately, but it's a great way of keeping the sound level down. So there is an option there. Drumming is a great instrument to take up. It helps the player no end, improving concentration, coordination, and confidence, all while reducing stress and tension and anxiety, which helps boost the immune system. Studies have proven that playing the drums help raise one's IQ, and in my opinion, helps the student flex that delayed gratification muscle that I think we all need to work on these days. It can do all of this while having fun.